Okay, so, um, in relation to question three being about what I've learned from the target audience, um, sorry, from target audience responses, there's a lot, because in general, even including um, what the audience feedback occurred from the actual from the magazine front cover and the um, film post, the ancillary tasks, I just learned a lot in terms of what the audience personally felt, whether it be they thought the image could be enlarged, but that they knew what the genre was, and even linking the colour scheme. Now, in relation to how it's actually helped me, so what I've learned to actually like, gain an improvement later on, for example, it's that the way our trailer, as an example, the way our trailer was structured, it, it was mentioned that it was easy to follow, it was easy to identify who the characters were, what the genre was, what would actually occur, and how the slight um, contrasting events occurred from the start, later developing from a drama, as mentioned, as begin the, the introduction to the trailer, becoming a thriller, which is exactly what we wanted, and I've learned that a lot of the time, from what the audience actually said, audience members said, it literally pretty much respectfully supported what we what we actually entailed from the start of the project. We wanted it to be a crime genre, that was the main genre picked up, and then thriller, that was another that was the subgenre picked up, and then dra um, sorry, um, yeah, drama, which was also picked up. So I've learned that we hopefully managed to create something which the audience would immediately recognise as being from the crime thriller drama genre. Furthermore, um, I feel that I was able to know what the audience actually wanted. I, I learned the conventions along the way, but to actually understand what the audience want and what will make them want to see the film, uh, especially from seeing the genre, uh, sorry, the tra um, film trailer. So gaining audience feedback on, e even through the research for example, in the planning stages, this immediately allowed me to gain more of recognition of what the audience wanted. So, let, uh, let's think about um, think about as an example the way I asked the question: What do you look for within a trailer or within a film? And many audience members they said uh, they wrote down um, violence. They, uh, they, select, so they selected violence, thrills, excitement, and a, um, a, a confrontation, for example. So. Our trailer already incorporated this in such a way that, as shown with the audience feedback, entriced the audience in a way, it, it, it made them so excited about it. And just looking at some of people's um, facial expressions and their reactions, it, it just, it makes me feel that we've done something which links in with what the audience wanted. So the research was so important as an example, and I've also learned of ways to actually improve what we could do because many people respectfully criticized uh, uh, through, through constructive criticism our trailer after you know giving it positive feedback which we're really thankful for and some improvements were um the volume could have been raised a little bit and i do agree with the voiceover for example because the crescendo of the actual tension builder it, it gets quite loud we wanted it to be loud because it, it creates much more of a thrill and greater fear and 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 quite a, a thrilling atmosphere which what is exactly what we wanted but at the same time we couldn't actually hear the voice of as much and if we were to raise the volume it may sound quite rustly in a way which would, would take away that the um it would take it away from being um a film trailer because the quality is much more crisp respectfully uh, respectively so yes but it's a truly fair comment and other comments also included how the choreography of some fight scenes could be improved on um, I, I agree on that to a certain extent um, some scenes uh, we could have maybe had more aggression which was truly fair enough um, but other scenes I feel I feel fine with how it was done but nevertheless, what the audience think is it's helpful, and it even with one of the scenes where Sal he runs into it, he, he knocks down a door. Well, before it, it cuts, um, cuts to a different scene. Um, 
they, some commented that it could have been done faster, it could have been more aggressive. So it, things like this, it helps to the overall um, like collection and presenting of the trailer and the story also. So what I've learned, I, I've learned that the trailer fits conventions. The audience seem to really like the trailer. It, it, it excites them, it thrills them. I've also learned that um, even with the uh, very helpful secondary research, title and research, that the male audience, they, they, they do like this much more respectively as um, proven with the female in the second session which was recorded uh, in order to gain the audience responses and feedback. Um, she, she didn't actually like it. No, sorry, she, she liked the trailer, but she said that the, the genre, she said, no, not that she doesn't like the genre, um, it's not her type of genre, sorry. Um, but she said that she still liked the trailer, and she would definitely go to see it if there was more involvement of women, and more of a female protagonist, or antagonist, just something for them to be more related to. She said that that would be more of a stimulus to let her actually go there, for example, to actually see the film, alongside other women, as the question was asked, if other women if she felt that other women would actually like to see the film. So, I've learnt that if we actually included more of Hazel, then it would have been appealing to a larger audience, remember, a larger audience rate. And this too is done in many trailers, even um, in Goodfellas, for example, respectively, it shows the eventual wife of Henry Hill. So, it just shows that in, in such respectively male driven storylines the female character always plays a huge and very important part they, they really do even general factors such as collecting the audience feedback has helped me to learn about how sorry, important it really is I too felt that getting the audience feedback earlier is much more beneficial to us as it would allow us to create the appropriate responses um, much quicker to actually you know, upload them and also allowing us to amend anything within the ancillary tasks or the trailer before it was finally completed so that would have given us so much more time so I've learned to kind of manage my time more effectively. I've also learned more about the level of research which needs to go into the creation and eventual marketing of media text among the target audience members. It takes a lot of time and commitment and is so worth the final outcome. At the very start of the pre-production of the trailer, when we were actually writing our trailer screenplays, our group gained feedback um, from other members of the class. Doing so we knew what we could actually add to, um, toward the trailer screenplay, such as um, how it could maybe be shortened or lengthened a, bit, a little bit more, and possibly even content, for example, and, and dialogue. This too was a very helpful way for us to gain earlier feedback, especially by possible target audience members, and this was crucial for us. And actually advance the trailer more, and the story and the characters. Other feedback which was given to me includes that from our teacher, giving me helpful constructive criticism alongside the members of my class to help with certain features of the ancillary tasks. This even includes the font that was used. Certain, lay uh, certain layout features and even parts of the colour scheme. Even though this was an audience feedback, this was still very helpful feedback for me and was actually received at an early stage so it allowed me to amend what I had to do much quicker.